Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2122 Bowman University, yes, basketball. 12 box, a full case break, number one. One spot gets you four random players on this massive list here. And we're also giving away four spots. So we're only selling whatever 22 minus four is, we're only selling that amount of spots. Here, I'll tell you, we're only selling 18 spots right here. And if you bought a spot outright, we're giving away four spots to you. So let's do that randomizer first. There's new dice, new list. So top four after eight, five and a three, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight and final time. After eight, congrats to Greg, Jason, Richard, and Nico. Extra spots going your way. So you got a little uh, buy one, get one opportunity here. All right, so now here's the full player list on this tab right here. 88 players on this list. There are uh, one, maybe two combos on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna quadruple your names here. So it's, here's everybody's names. That's one, that's two, that's three, and here's four, so we should have 88 on this list as well. There we go. Now, I don't think this is this should happen, but in the instance that we get a player that's not on the list, we'll randomize it to somebody on this list. All right, now we can gather everybody's names right here, and now we can load up what players you get randomized. And I already pre-copied and pasted the player list right here as well. So now, let's assign you a player. Let's roll it, randomize it, two and a one, three times. One, two, and three, easy. Uh, Brian down to Brandon. Two and a one, three times for the players. One, two, and three. We got Pete down to Ryan. Now, there's, I'm not going to read off all these names. I got to. Uh, this is the end of my week. My voice is feeling a little ragged already. But I'm going to show you the list. Then I'm going to alphabetize by your first name so you can see what, who you have. And then um, I'll even share the list if you're watching live in the chat right there. But and this is all going to be recorded. It's all on tape, all on wax anyway. So if you want to audit how the alphabetizing goes, you can. Always double check that by pausing the video and whatnot. All right, so there's that group right here. Now we'll uh, go back to the top of the list. We'll alphabetize by your first names. So then you'll have all your players grouped together. So Adam. Expand this back again. Adam, there, there's your group of teams. Brandon G, your group of teams. Brandon H. Brandon. Brian. Corey's got a lot of players here. Get all that on one screen right there. There it is. Curtis, Greg, and with the uh, extra spot that you won, hey, you got the you got the Lakers pick there. Jason, and with the extra spots that you won, congrats. Michael, Nico, with the spots that you won as well, congrats. Oscar, Richard, and with those extra spots for you. And Terry. So trade window is open. I'm going to pause the video, allow for some trades, chatter, and when we come back, we'll have this full case break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, no deals were done. 
A little bit of trade chatter, but no deals done. So let's get into this. Sorry, Carl, I know your break's more important than anyone else's break, but I appreciate your patience. A lot of people, you know, spent their hard-earned money on this break. I gotta give this the, uh, the due diligence that I would give to your break as well. I appreciate your patience, Carl. Thank you. All right, so the list that you saw on the previous screen remains the same. Here's the official printout right there. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. There you go. Thanks, everybody. Now let's see. Let's see what we got in here. Two Chrome autographs per box. Bowman University. Now, I think as Greg pointed out a little bit earlier, um, there are uh, some of the current draftees are, are, are in here. And then we also have some players who are still currently in college. Now, I don't follow college hoops too closely, so people are going to have to let me know if we, uh, if we spotted a monster or not. Let's also pull up the uh, the NBA the real NBA draft list as well, so I can keep that handy. Here's the NBA draft for everybody. So we'll kind of try to keep an eye out for those that have made in the draft as well. So uh, obviously this is uh, this is uh, you know the the tops Bowman sort of re-entry back into the basketball world, especially after uh, especially after Fanatics bought Tops. So they're kind of moving into at least getting some kind of hoops products out there. So I think there'll be some similarities to like Panini Baseball, you know, where, where you're not gonna see the logos of these, of these players. So that's why we're doing a random player break. So Adam saying one of the uh, one of the guys he got still in high school or maybe just finished high school. Well, that's good. I mean, if they go to a big program or if they end up going directly into the NBA or do well in a G League situation or something like that, that'd be pretty interesting. So we'll see. Yeah, this is this is a little more Brandon's right. This is more of a more of an invent, just like any other Bowman product, really. More of a future investmenty. Type of uh, type of product here. Mikey Williams. I'm saying, all right, maybe. Do they what like what's his uh, does he, is he does he have a is he star rated is he a four star prospect a five star prospect maybe All right so I'm assuming all card ship in this Yeah all card ship so I would imagine that this is going to take a little extra time for the uh, shipping team to... Hey, Mikey Williams. Look at that, Adam. One eighteen out of one ninety nine from San Diego, California. I wish there was more bl uh, more blurb on him, more of a blurb on him right here. He's got to work on that. He's just a kid, easy. But we, we, he's got to learn how to sign. Still a kid. He's got a lot to learn, Mikey. So, and again, just give the shipping team an extra time. Um, there's the Lakers. Hey. Oh yeah. So we give, give the shipping team an extra time. 
extra bit of time to get all these sorted out by a player. Johnny's using for UCLA, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they, yeah, a lot, a lot, lot of programs don't, don't teach cursive anymore, huh? It's just, just the texting. Yeah, he definitely needs to go to Jaspi's autograph. We need to start Jaspi's autograph camp. Ozzy Smith would, would, would fix him right up. There's 100 out of 299, Yannick uh, Zoza. And that will be for Curtis. And Pete Nance. All right, we got a little more cursive here. Pete Nance. And let me know, for, for those fans out there, there's Brian Watford with that one. Did he get drafted or not? I don't do I remember his name in the draft? No, I don't think so. Yeah, Juzang, I did notice that, Brandon, that, he, that Juzang did sign a two-way contract with the Jazz. I'm rooting for him. I hope he does well. Oh yeah, I don't know. Is that is that a uh, Larry Nance little brother? Not sure. That is Anthony saying that is the younger brother of of Larry Nance Jr. and the son of Larry Nance Sr. <laughs> Not Jim Nance. Dif different Nance, different spelling. Well, that kid with that. Uh, that Mikey Williams, Shilo, is in high school, so I don't think there'll be any NCAA violations there for for his work being done. Cursive. Ah, so Adam Copperman, now that done a little research, Williams is a five-star prospect who has yet to commit to a college. Interesting. So now, you'll be uh, looking forward to, uh, I don't know, when is when is like commitment? Is there a commitment day for basketball? I, there, I'm assuming there has to be, right? Adam will be, Adam be looking up uh, hammering the refresh button on Mikey Williams searches. And I'll do an autograph recap at the, at the end of this as well. Chet Holmgren right here. Nice. Ron Harper Jr. Ron Harper's kid. I think Keegan Murray was a king. And there's Ron Harper Jr. I'm assuming the son of that, Ron Harper. 23 out of 99. Can we get his name? Oh, right. We don't, we don't get the university names on here. Uh, Ron Harper Jr. goes to goes to Richard Johansson with the spot that he won. Uh, there's Brandon Huntley Hatfield, 12 out of 150. And we got Ochai Abaji. 10 out of 50. Oshai going to Greg. 
It's kind of a trip seeing like that the Bowman first sort of design, but then seeing basketball players. Trace Jackson Davis to 150. There's Pete again. Yeah, older brother Larry Nance Jr. We got out of 150, Trevor Keels. Abaji was the 14th pick by the Cavs. Nice. That's that's good to know. Yeah, I would I would imagine in this product you're either there's Josiah Jordan. You're either looking for future stars or you're looking for guys that got drafted in the first round. Josiah will go to Josiah Jordan James Corey with Josiah Jordan James. All right, next box. Yeah, could have been another Triple J in the league if he got drafted. George is I, Jordan James. Speaking of Triple J, uh, I think Jaron Jackson Jr. just went down with some sort of foot stress fracture injury. I think I heard that on the on Sports Radio today. I think he's out for like four to six months, so he's going to miss the beginning of the season. Hopefully not a lingering sort of thing. Brandon thinks that the football version of this sold better than the basketball version of this. I feel like we did a lot of the basketball version of this on on the uh, Instagram side of things. Yeah, I'll probably miss the first two months of the seasons, Anthony is saying, but yeah, I'm sure the Grizzlies will do fine. Maybe I, I'm sure they'd rather have them healthy at the end of the, the season, towards the end of the season than at the beginning. In the playoff scenario. You know, any other big news in the NBA in the last however many minutes? I guess that Jalen Brunson deal is done. He's to sign a four year contract with the Knicks, according to hoopsrumors.com. Gary Harris signs two year extension with the Magic. Devin Booker signs a four year Supermax. Timberwolves sign Kyle Anderson. JaVel McGee, Nikola Jokic gets the big contract. Gets a lot of smaller deals being done, but... And Kevin Durant really shook things up, didn't he? Yeah, so I guess the big sort of discussion question now, who, who, who gets Kevin Durant? There's a 100 out of 199. Uh, Drew Tim... And Drew will go to Nico. And there's another Mikey Williams for Adam. There we go. Knicks legend Kevin Knox signed with the Pistons. Two-year, $6 million deal. Great move. All right. Adam, you're officially a Mikey Williams. You officially started your Mike, Mikey Williams PC. You're a Mikey Williams guy now. And there's Jermaine Samuels. I like that lava parallel. 48 out of 50. Jermaine goes to Richard with the spot that he won. The extra spot that he won. Folks, that is the talented Marlins pitcher, Sam. 
Yeah. Now, predictably, Kevin Durant goes, I want to go to the Heat. I want to go to the Sun. <laughs> the, the, the two best teams in each conference. But I don't know, if I'm the Nick, if I'm Knicks, if I'm the Brooklyn Nets, I'm gonna be like, bro, you don't get a choice in this. You're the one that wants to leave. We're gonna get the best offer possible, even if that means you end up in, you know, Charlotte. All right, next box. KC still on the hunt for an NBA team. Greg needs a team in Vegas. You know, I think it's going to be Seattle and Vegas would be my would be my guess. And then you put Memphis. Memphis is still in the West, so you move Memphis. You move Memphis uh, East to give them 16 teams. Then you add Seattle in the West and Vegas in the West, and that balances it out. 32 teams. 16 in the West, 16 in the East. Exactly. Yeah, right. Exactly, Anthony. Anthony's pointing out, hey, Durant doesn't have a no-trade clause. So he's going to ship them to whatever they can, wherever they can get the best package. All right, that's what I'm saying. The Brooklyn Nets don't have, to, don't have to do him any favors. Sure, he wants to go... You know, like, hey, I want to go to some of the best teams, but you could end up on, on the worst team. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny if they send him back to OKC. Imagine if he goes back to the Thunder. The Thunder have got a lot of picks, a lot of young players. Send Durant to the Lakers do not have the pieces to, to, to even pick up the phone on, uh, on Durant. What would the Vegas basketball team name be? That'd be interesting. <laughs> Carl says Spurs. Yeah, imagine if they make a move to bring him back to Golden State. <laughs> Kyle D does not want to see KD go back to the Bay Area. Seems like the Lakers' priority is Kyrie. I don't think they're getting Kyrie either. I think uh, every blog, Twitter account, website, talking head on all the networks want to want to put Kyrie here, but I don't know if the Lakers could. I don't know if the Lakers can are in the position to do that. They really have nothing to give. Let's go Padres, Dodgers here. All right, onwards. Some shimmer, Arthur Kaluma. Oh, and a heat check autograph. That's Oshai Obaji. I don't know if I'm, apologies if I'm butchering his name. Greg with that one. I think Anthony was saying he was 13th, 14th overall pick. Nice heat check auto. Uh, 54 out of 99. Yeah, Cavs pick. Nice. Uh, 64 out of 150. Magenta, Josiah, Jordan, James, Triple J. And we've got Colby Jones. Colby going to Brian. Brian with the Colby Jones auto. Nice. 
All right, next box. Anthony's pointing out every box seems to be a drafted player or a Mikey Williams and an undrafted player. Yeah, some of these guys are in college. So actually, if you get one of these undrafted players or any player that's still in college or about to be in college, that's an interesting hold. You know, you can hold on to these and sort of follow this kid's season in college basketball. Gilo likes these cards. We don't like this draft class. Well, thankfully, like I mentioned before, Gilo, a lot of these players, I think a lot of the checklists are still players that are in college or maybe about to enter their first year in college this upcoming fall. So someone to track throughout the next year, and then maybe they end up in the 2023 draft, a draft that, that you may like better. But my understanding is that this is this 2022 NBA draft class is a deep class. So we may see a lot of nice names pop up out of here, and maybe less top heavy than some other classes. We balance out a little bit. Sort of like last year's class. Got a heat check, Christian Braun to 150, 71 out of 150. There's Oshai again. And we got a Jalen Wilson. Wilson! Wilson! That's for Brandon, Brandon G with Jalen Wilson. One thirty two out of one ninety nine. AJ Griffin to two fifty. And we got Brad Davison, ninety two out of ninety nine. Nice green parallel. Uh, for Greg. Evan Mobley, sibling, and there's Ryan Mutombo. Ryan Mutombo, that's gonna be for Brandon. Brandon was did Brandon H mention that Ryan Mutombo, son of Dikembe Mutombo? Oh, so Isaiah Mobley did get drafted by the Cavs as well. Nice. Put the Mobley brothers together. All right, next box. Gotcha, that's nice. 
brothers can hang out together. Did they go to school together? Are they both? Were they both at USC? trash bag there both went to USC all right onwards I kind of don't like that there's only four packs per uh, four packs per box such thin cards there should be double that there should be like eight would feel a little more comfortable. I think I'm being good with it. I am being good with the cards, but we just, it would just feel a little less flimsy if there were eight cards in here or ten cards in here instead of the four. Uh, Gilo, is uh, a Missouri fan. Lost a lot of prominence. My school. UC San Diego uh, doesn't have any Division One program, so I have no college sports to complain about. Although UC San Diego, I think, is now eligible to be, it did, is now in a Division One conference, and I think they'll be eligible for. There's like a weird rule that it's after you get into Division One, you got to wait like another two seasons before before you can be eligible for the tournament. So. I don't know, maybe someday I'll see the UC San Diego Tritons on a, as a 15 or 16 seed and see them get blown out on TV. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Now that song stuck in your head. Oh, it's Trey Turner bobblehead night. Johnny Juzang. UCLA guy, 125 out of 299. Nice purple parallel. Where, where is he going? Who has him? That goes to Brian Watford. Nice. Watched a lot of him on TV here. Local guy. And we got Blake Wesley. 50 out of 50. Nice lava parallel. That is for Adam. With Blake Wesley, another guy to look up. Is he is he good? Is he not good? What's his deal? Is that Bayheim's son? Oh, Wesley was a late first round pick for the Spurs. Thank you, Anthony. I appreciate the extra additional research. There's Tamar Bates, Coach Bayheim's son. Is that Coach Bayheim's son? Maybe I didn't get that right. There's Tamar Bates. Tamar Bates, that will go to the Tamar Bates Shavir Wheeler combo. Brendan O'Neill with that. It is his son. Oh, okay. There's Hunter Dickinson, 70 out of 75. All right, folks, we are halfway through this full case break. Another six boxes, about another 30, 35 minutes to go. Good luck, everyone. Uh, both his sons, Buddy and Jimmy, have autos in this set. The 
sort of a, it sort of reminds me of uh, of like seeing like a lot of juniors come up in baseball. Vlad Jr., Bo Bichette, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The Clemens' kids and whatnot. Is this Bobby Wood Jr.? And then you start seeing like Ron Harper Jr.'s in here. Larry Nance's little brother. <laughs> You know, like, so, sort of a, we're uh, trying, trying to feel feel the age moment here in basketball. Yeah, UC, USC, UCLA going to the Big Ten. They kind of snuck in that announcement earlier today, Gilo. I feel like they wanted to try to not make it a big deal out of it, get it under the NBA free agency window. I don't know what that does for, like, Oregon. Who's going to lose a lot of competition in, in the Pac-12. And the Pac-12 actually reconfigured some of their, some of their, uh, some the way they do their playoffs, I think, or something like that. I feel like they had, Pac-12 had, like, a North and South division, then division winners would play in the Pac-12 championship. But I think that they... That they eliminated that, and um, I think they eliminated that, and it was just said the top two with the best records, no matter where they are, would now play in the championship. I guess those extra changes weren't weren't enough. Oh, nice, Rex. All right, onwards. Got another shimmer right here, not numbered, but all cards ship. And our autograph, Colby Jones, another Colby Jones. Uh, Brian with Colby. One twenty out of one ninety nine. Patrick Baldwin Jr. Green Shimmer to ninety nine. Another Johnny Juzang, 52 out of 99. And Hunter Salas. Terry with Hunter. We pull this autograph. All right, next box. Mixer, I did. All right, next box. I've got a question for you. Well, I got a lot of packs to open here. What, uh, what second year player, or what player entering their second year from the 2021 NBA draft? Who are you looking forward to seeing improve? So we're talking Cade Cunningham, Jalen Green, Evan Mobley, Scotty Barnes, Jalen Suggs, Josh Giddy, Jonathan Kaminga, Franz Wagner, Davion Mitchell, Zaire Williams, James Bonite, or Booknight, Joshua Primo, Chris Duarte, Moses Moody, Corey Kispert. So those are like your first half of the first round. 
but who in the 2021 draft would you like to see take it to the next level or just who are you looking forward to watching? You know, obviously I want all of these guys to do well. It's just it'll be good for the hobby. And obviously we know the reality. But how, how many percent of the top five picks or top 10 picks end up being all-stars? Not too many. Small percentage. I kind of like the look of uh, I kind of I like the look of the Orlando Magic. I feel like they got Jalen Suggs, Franz Wagner. I feel like they got they still have other players on that team. You know, I feel like Markel Fultz can still offer something. I like to see like to see him a little more Josh Giddy in action. I know he his season his rookie campaign interrupted by an injury that knocked him out for a little bit, probably enough to maybe knock him out of rookie of the year contention. I'd like to see a bit more of him. Isaiah Mobley. Nice Isaiah Mobley. Evans, brother. Going to Nico has Isaiah Mobley. Nice. Here's Dieng. And David McCormick. That'll go to Oscar. Anthony's bet is Cameron Thomas. Right, he was. Twenty seventh overall pick by the Brooklyn Nets out of LSU. So, if and when KD is out, right? Is Johnny Davis thirty one out of two fifty? Yeah, the youngster is time to shine. How bad do we feel for the Brooklyn Nets? Maybe not that bad, but it's just, I feel like they moved a lot of assets to to get James Harden and Kyrie and spent a lot of money on KD. It's moved a lot of assets around. I feel like there was that mid-season trade where they, I think they moved Jared Allen, right? They And they moved, uh, well, then they moved James Harden. They got Ben Simmons back in return, and and I feel like they moved mountains to try to try to make these two players happy, uh, Kyrie and and KD. You know, and then all of a sudden, season falls apart. You know, Kyrie just voluntarily missed a lot of games. James Harden didn't work out. He had a bum ankle throughout the season. KD, I think, was injured for bits at a time. And then now those now Kyrie opts in, but maybe could still get traded. KD requests a trade. It's all a mess. And then, well, Anthony, as a Knicks fan, is ecstatic. Thank you. 
There you go, Gilo. Nice. Gilo saying, sounds like they need a better net to catch these players. If you know what I'm talking about. Uh, oh, well, Anthony, talk to me about your Knicks. What, do we do we like do we like the moving of the assets and move, clearing of the payroll for Jalen Brunson? There's uh, Bo Boo Booey, 93 out of 299. Remy Martin. And Jermaine Samuels, 46 out of 199, wave autograph. Jermaine Samuels goes to Richard Johansson. Yeah, Brandon Ho saying, dang dude, the net's through the bag. Knicks get the best point guard, Anthony is saying, for at least a decade. Four and four hundred, four and hundred and four for Brunson. Not terrible salary when Simmons got four and a hundred from the Blazers, playing second fiddle to, or Simons that is playing second fiddle to Dan. Big Kahuna, Johnny Juzang. Is this a short? Wasn't this on our? No, we had Chet Holmgren and Big Kahuna on our. And we got Marcus Bagley. Any relation to, to Marvin? It's like a lot of siblings happening here. Chris Taylor. Nice outfield assist there. Marcus Bagley Gregg with the spot that he won. We got Keon Ellis. Eleven out of one hundred and fifty. Yes, the younger brother of Marvin Bagley the third. There we go. Saw some red coming up here. Are those out of five in this set? Here is Shaden Sharp out of ten. Nice. One out of ten, Shaden Sharp. And that is for Terry Cahill. Yeah, seventh overall pick by the Blazers. All right, I'm looking at the... Uh, I'm looking at the... According to the ESPN New York Knicks depth chart, right, Jalen Brunson, Evan Fournier in the backcourt. I like Fournier as well. I mean, he really kind of turned things around last year, right? Or maybe he has been, but he he looked really good last year. Maybe he's blooming a little late, but I'll take it. So Jalen Brunson, Evan Forney in the backcourt. RJ Barrett really looked nice last season too. Uh, I've always liked Julius Randle. I wish the Lakers would have kept him around. And Mitchell Robinson. And then you've got guys like, I do like that bench too. Emmanuel quickly, yeah, Quinn Grimes, Brandon, oh, not not bad at all. You know, Obi Toppin could add a lot of energy off the bench. You know, so you still have Cam Reddish on that team too. 
Like, you know, a little reclamation project in Cam Reddish. And if they, you know, obviously Jalen Brunson is going to be their big sort of fish. But, you know, they could, they could still add a couple vet pieces, add some glue guys and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, you know, two years ago they were a playoff team. Last year, I think, they regressed a little bit. But you got to figure that 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 they'll be they'll be what they were a couple years ago. I kind of got the impression from what little Knicks basketball I watched last year. I think I kind of got the impression that that maybe these the guys kind of took the off season off. Not that they were lazy, but. I think they were thinking, oh, we're a playoff team. We can just we can just walk right out there, you know, and then just be a playoff team again. And I think that they're like, wait, I think there was sort of a reality check last year. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but that's from the from my view from across the country in Los Angeles. That's kind of what I thought, or maybe it was maybe I was just maybe just Julius Randle, but but yeah, I feel like they kind of got the impression they thought, oh. I got the play. I'm gonna do this, do this again. But hopefully, I don't think they're gonna make that same mistake this upcoming season. Maybe the Lakers will pick up Ron Harper. They had they added a uh, here's Davion Mintz to fifty. They added uh, Scottie Pippen Jr. to their summer league team, and they added um, Sha Shaq's son Sharif O'Neal to their summer league team. May as well get Ron Harper Jr. on there too. I don't know uh, unless he's signed or drafted somewhere. But we got Nate Johnson, forty-seven out of seventy-five. Ooh. Justin Turner, yard. Nice. Nate Johnson, Richard, with Nate, with the uh, extra spot that you won. There's a uh, leaky black. 162 out of 199. I, you know what? I have no idea what that set's all about. I actually have not done any research into that. And here's Jabari Walker. One out of 50. The first one ever made. Jabari Walker for Brandon Huang. Yeah, Lakers, Lakers have Pippen Jr. on their, uh, on their summer league team, DJ. And Sharif O'Neal. So it'll be interesting to see, see how, how they play out. Um, I want to say that the Lakers, in spite of all their all their troubles, um, have actually drafted pretty have actually drafted pretty decently. They found some value in the second rounds. Talon Horton Tucker is an example, although he regressed a little bit last year. But Austin Reeves was undrafted, and he ended up playing meaningful minutes and looked good, too, at times, you know, for an undrafted player. So maybe the, maybe the Lakers can continue, you know, finding that, that talent. Yeah, Gilo saying Pippen Jr., pretty decent. Played against Missouri, scoring all the points. With one or two of those guys, I think Sharif O'Neal is still a little more of a project too. Apparently, his pops 
did not want him to declare for the draft, or I think he wanted it to have him say do one more year in college. DJ saying, what, Pippen Jr. has to improve on that shot release? Not that tall. Still crazy he was undrafted. Yeah, maybe maybe the... What position does he play? Maybe the Lakers can, can find a little something out of him. Ah, 6'3". Six, 6'3", three. Six, three guard. I like Malik Monk too, but unfortunately he's a free agent, DJ. And he signed a two-year deal with the Kings. I would have loved to keep Malik Monk. Theo John to 299. I like these big Kahuna cards. I don't know how short printed those are, but they're not too common. Uh, Brandon Ho is confused. Uh, what will happen with the Nets and Kyrie and Durant? I'm confused. Yeah, you and me both. I'm sure the Nets are a little confused too. There's Devin Askew. There's a, there's a balancing joke in there somewhere. Richard Johansson, askew. Every askew card I pull, I'll, I'll, I'll hold it this way. I think the Nets are confused too. I think they were thinking, hey, Kevin Durant signed a four-year deal, you know, signed a four-year deal with us or extension with us last year. Looks like he's committed. He wants to be in Brooklyn. Everyone talks about, oh, yeah, you know, KD has, wants to do a lot of business stuff. He's opened up some creative offices in, in New York. And there's Kennedy Chandler Black Ink Autograph. Two out of 25, that's a cool looking card. Uh, Kennedy, Chandler for Michael Robinson. Anthony's saying Durant was probably waiting for Kyrie to opt in and then he could just dip and leave Kyrie there alone. Kenny Chandler, Anthony's saying is your 38th pick, went to the Grizzlies. I would say that that's a stretch, but then again, uh, Kevin Durant does seem petty like that, right? Like I, he he's got to like like he feels compelled to have like burner accounts and talk to people on Twitter and stuff like that. So. He doesn't have to do that. He's kind of, he's Kevin freaking Durant, one of the best basketball players in the world, if not in the game. I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> Katie to the side, that's where he wants to go. But, you know, he has, he has, uh, but he has, he doesn't have a no trade clause. So the Nets don't have to do many favors and send him to a, comp a competitive team. If there's like a, a bad team, that has the right assets, that, 
You know, I think that's what the Nets are taking. They're not just going to give Kevin Durant away to a team that, you know, they're not going to do him any favors. Oh, we know he has burner accounts, Shilo. <laughs> Every once in a while, I feel like at least two or three different times in the last 10 years, like, you know, I think I feel like there was one time eight years ago where his like burner Twitter burner accounts were found out, and I think there was a separate time after that years later where there was like, oh, he's subtweeting, you know, this or whatever. I feel like it's happened on multiple occasions, and, pro and most likely still happens. I mean, if people on on social media keep. Uh, keep speculating on why did Kevin Durant do this and it's because of this or that or this or that, I'm sure he'll feel compelled to weigh in on the uh, conversation. Going loud, what's going on? I'm sorry about that. Oh, you saw our video on Sports Card Investor, yeah. They were here a week or so ago. They did a top five video here, a little tour video of the shop. It was finally nice to meet Jeff in person. It was really nice. You think you, you think Katie's here right now on a burner account, Gilo? Maybe. Could be. Wait, are you Kevin Durant, Gilo? Underscore 810? Have you been Kevin Durant this entire time? There's Josiah Jordan James, Triple J, 59 out of 99. Marcus Bagley, Marvin's brother, 66 out of 199. And we got Trevor Keels. Trevor Keels. There's like a, there's a boat joke in there somewhere. Uh, TK goes to Corey. Michael Robinson is Kevin Durant. Anthony's Kevin Durant. Keels, 42nd pick to Anthony's Knicks. Is this like uh, when, when uh, that old movie Spartacus, when they say, when, when everyone stands up and says, I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. Everyone's, everyone's Kevin Durant in here. Thanks, going loud. I appreciate that. There's Chet Holmgren. Nice. 222, 225 out of 250. Second? Third? Second. Second overall pick. Chet going to Greg. And Tyrese Martin is your final autograph. TM goes to Curtis Erickson. Last spot mojo strikes again. 151 out of 199. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, at long last, full case break of Bowman University basketball, random player break number one in the books. Keep an eye out on jazbeescaserace.com for more hoops. Yeah, Katie might have to go back to Golden State. How ironic would that be? Here's a quick little recap of the autos that we pulled. Some nice names, some nice parallels, some nice color. And I appreciate everyone digging deep and knocking this break out. That heat check. Pretty cool. I love the lava parallels that they have going on here. So a lot of nice stuff. A lot of nice parallels that our team will sleeve and top load before they go out. And thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe. I will see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.